Hello, I'm Grant from Maker's Vlog and today I'm actually building something. Fucking who knew. Um, specifically, I'm making this. I've already made this as I'm talking to you now, but you're about to see the video of me making this. Yeah, it's a pipe. So, as some of you may or may not know, I play D&D, Dungeons and Dragons. Quite enjoy it. Group um, from a couple from Europe, um, another person from here in Northern Ireland, and uh, a guy from America, and we play every Wednesday. And recently, one of my characters died. It was a very sad guy, Vince. He was a wizard. He, he got he got his absolute shit kicked in. Um, and whenever I'm playing a character in D and D, I always like to. Well, I always have an excuse to, to build something. Because I like to build something that's theirs. Um, for Vince, I uh, made his staff, which I'll put some pictures in here. You'll see them now. Um, sadly, I put made this before um, I started doing YouTube videos, which is kind of sad because the, the that actually turned out very well. Um, considering um, this is going to be my new character's pipe. He's a dwarf, hence why it's so chunky and and rectangular and looks more sort of like chiselled out of a rock rather than than spun out of wood. Um, I, I like to make something for them, it just gives me a bit of an attachment to the character, but um, I, go, I usually go into these with no plan, and you'll see it becomes apparent, because there's plenty of mistakes in this things that, that definitely could have been done better, but that's fine, I'm not too fussed, I'm not winning any awards with these. Um, so the staff turned out really well for having no plan, this turned out okay. I was working this off um, a picture I found online of or um, Thorin Oakenshields from The Hobbit. Apparently he had a pipe that looked, well, nothing like this, but the pictures looked somewhat similar. Um, but yeah, so uh, you'll now see all of the time lapses of me of it and doing this. So yeah. Okay, so I have the uh, rough... Uh, design drawn. Um, um, uh, this one's based off the Thorin Oakenshields pipe. Um, so there'll be some detailing on the inside, but this is it. Um, just the outline roughly sketched out on uh, on this piece of uh, pine. Um, not sure whether I've said yet, but this is this was essentially an old um, fence post that blew down. I've got tons of this kicking about. Fucking loads. Um, and more out the back, so I've got plenty of spurs just in case I, I fuck this one up. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the jigsaw and just roughly cut around it and get it out, and then I'm going to use the yeah, Dremel to start just coming in and start getting the actual uh, shape of it. Um, plus side is it's rectangular, um, apart from the, the actual stem of the pipe, so uh, hopefully it should should be relatively easy to uh, to detail out. Okay, so, got it cut out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, a uh, angle grinder with the sand, flap this gun, I'm going to take off the majority of uh, everything on here and try and get this sort of shrunk down to a more better pipe size. Uh, once I have that done and I'm ready to start detailing, then I'll, I'll set up the uh, camera. Uh, just to show me doing all the all the uh, fancy bits because let's face it doing this shit's boring as fuck so yeah back in a sec
Okay. Not too bad. Not fantastic, but uh, I need to tidy this up a bit. Clean up the insides and then see what I want to do from there. The uh, the original design, let's get something to point with, um, had more engravings in here, but I don't know whether I'm going to do that or not. Um, I've got plenty of walls left. It's, it's This really needs to be wider, this um, aperture at the top. But if I make it wider, it means I then have less space to cut into. So what I might do is I might tidy these up a bit. Maybe do some decoration on the outside and see how it looks. And then what I might do is I was thinking of just using um, oil, linseed oil in here, in these bits, and then stain the outside. So these will be actually lighter. Um, a nice light colour and then out here will be quite dark so I think that might look quite nice um, I shall see but I need to tidy these up first
Okay, today is tomorrow, and this is now glued on. Um, so now what I need to do is I need to sand this so that the profile more closely matches here, and see what I can do to hide any seams that are still there. Um, I have decided I have a ton of wood stains sitting there, but no varnishes. And I actually think a varnish would look a lot nicer on this, um, just give it a more glossy feel. Um, still might just stain in here, so these are different colours or a bit lighter, maybe give them a matte finish compared to the gloss, I don't know, I'll see how I go. Um, but I'm going to do that, but I need to go out and get some varnish, so I'm going to do that after, uh, after I get the profiling done here. So, let's get cracking. Music on, let's go.
some varnish, some nice uh, gloss mahogany. I think it'll look quite nice, but well, we'll see. Um, I also um, used a bit of wood filler just to try and cover up this seam a bit and then sand it back. I don't know how well it's actually going to look once it's um, uh, stained and varnished, but uh, we'll see. It, it's bound to look better than having that big ugly seam. Um, I think that's it. I have the feeling there was something else I meant to say. Um, oh yeah, I used the uh, just the, the oil in here to stain the inner bits. I want them to be lighter than, than the outer, so we'll see how we go. Um, I usually have a, a painting table that I use that's usually a lot cleaner than this, but it's quite big, um, and I didn't want to get it out just, just for this, so I just cleaned here and got rid of as much dust as I could. Um, so this is going to take a while because it's about... I think four hours between coats, I'm going to look up and see just how much I can stretch that because I would really like this to be ready for tonight. Um, so I have a, a bit of a drying area set up, so might be able to do it quicker, but uh, yeah, let's get going. Music on and let's get started. <laughs> Okay, second coat. Um, I quickly threw together a wee stand. All it is is uh, stuff, uh, three screws, just to make a little stand for it while you're painting it. Um, and it doesn't look like it's quite dry yet, but fuck it, we'll go with the other coat. Um, yeah. The
all stained. And um, what you didn't see, uh, apologies, I didn't, uh, I didn't manage to get it recorded. Um, was I put some um, different stain on the inside here? So I had used um, it was uh, stuff I had sitting about. There was just oil. I think it was Danish oil. Um, you you see me put that in. But um, after I went and got the stain that was using or the varnish, sorry, that was using on the outside, um, I had other stuff. Uh, let me see. I've got this stuff here, which was same as same as the stuff that's on the outside, just walnut instead of uh, the outside's mahogany. Um, and I just put a wee dab in there just to test it and see. And I actually think it makes it look um, a lot better. It gives it a bit more depth rather than uh, what it was before. It sort of darkened in some of the corners. So I think that looks alright. Um, the only thing that I might do in the future, um, the character of the player PC that this is for is a follower of um, Kalimvor. And if you don't know any D and D stuff, there's a god of death, and his um, symbol is like scales, but made out of bones. And I might actually there's plenty of room here. I might carve that into the bottom, just like in a circle. I might do that in the future. I'll see. But for now, this uh, this I think will, will do rightly. Um, so the last thing that I need to do is um, I've, I've already put some. Um, I just used. Uh, sawdust in and lit it to make sure that everything was flowing okay but I want to actually blacken in here and as I said I don't smoke so it's not actually going to be getting used for tobacco so I've got my uh, blowtorch and I'm just going to uh, burn on the inside There we go, nice and blackened on the inside like it's been used for a while. That's good. So yeah. I'm happy with that. So there you go. That is Grimhook's pipe.